for us to learn about the law and to have a good time with Vanessa Lane Jennings, who is in the studio to talk to us about the law. The most important part of this show is that you have an opportunity to ask a legal question, and we encourage you and invite you to do that. Let's ask you also to call in early. Uh, I know sometimes, I don't know why, but people like to be second. They don't like to be first. But if you have a question that Vanessa can help you with, the number right now is 622-9622. Maybe you, um, somebody you know, got arrested. Maybe you were in an accident. Maybe you're going through a divorce. Um, if legal advice is something you need, this is an opportunity. Uh, again, 622-9622. Vanessa is with her own law firm, which is the Jennings Law Firm. And you have a secondary uh, firm also. It's the DUI? The Florida DUI and Ticket Center. Florida DUI and Ticket Center. So if you have any problems in that area, uh, you would also go to see Vanessa and her staff. Good morning, Vanessa. Good morning. And where is Is it both in the same location? They are. They're in different suites, but they're in the same building. Okay, 2945 Northeast 3rd Street. So call us if you have any questions. We probably will yuck it up. We probably will have fun with Vanessa. I don't know why it happens, but it does something about our relationship that i love but at the Yay. same time you know we don't want to we don't want to discourage people from calling in with their serious questions so absolutely how, how are you you said you're almost in a wreck on the way here well three in the parking lot three well, in the oh. parking lot <laughs> yes i believe it <laughs> oh well that opens up a question right away all right let's go all right i was told that if you have an accident on private property different laws apply to the accident and the mall would be considered private property, no? Is that true or not true? What's different? I so don't know. And that's when it, when you don't practice that particular area of law. So they don't teach you everything in law school. So this is, I don't practice Okay, so that. this is a little out of your league something? Right, so if you have a... Well, I've seen plenty of traffic accidents that take place on like a mall property, and they still are able to get personal injury monies from it because really it, i'd look i'll look it up and i'll give you the answer next week so we sure. had we had a lady who worked here at the station who when we had our offices in the cascades now i don't know if the cascades is different than the paddock mall but she was hit her car her car not her but her car was hit in the parking lot yeah and uh, there was something about well this is private property so there's a different there's a different way to do this or something have you, ever, you never heard of that, huh? Now, was that having to do with the police and reporting it? Or Maybe. Did it or did it have to do with actually suing for liability purposes? Yeah, see, I don't really know. I don't really know. But Maybe it was the police reporting so it. Maybe I, they can't fill If I had a big enough report. piece of property for this to apply, <laughs> <laughs> and I was driving my car on my own property, you know, I'm, I, we, we know a few people that might have property this size, right? If you're at Adina, well, that's that's kind of a public-private place. Okay. Yeah. My understanding, because this is fun thing about doing legal research, really quick. Um, it depends that it calls into question police jurisdiction. Okay. Is what Westlaw says. Oh, okay. Well, that brings up another question. In the movies, they make it seem like if you get to the county line, you're free, because the, the county sheriff can't go past the line. But that's not true, is it? If they're in pursuit of you, they can keep on going. Plus, all they have to do is call in the highway patrol. Highway patrol everywhere in the state. Yeah, but like you know how they show like the smoke. Oh, we have to stop. Like in Smokey and the Bandit movies, remember? <laughs> they they cross the the I, line. That might be before my time. Oh really? And, and <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Gosh, I, he's like yeah, really. Is, yeah. I mean, first so of all, old. he's going really like the, he's calling into question. <laughs> Not your age, <laughs> my age. I'm calling. Into question, am I really that old? <laughs> I I. Uh, hmm. I'm old. I, I, I keep getting reminded of this. I did not mean to remind you of that or <laughs> even suggest that. But anyway, so you cross the county line in the Smokey and the Bandit movies and ha we're free. Yeah, right, right. Uh, I guess in the next county they had no police or something. I don't know. <laughs> See, nowadays they could, if they really want to, they just call ahead to the next jurisdiction. They have police waiting there. Well, that's what you would hope. Oh, that, but if that all it had is cactuses and coyotes, there'd be nobody there. <laughs> Thank that's goodness that's Florida does not have cactuses and coyotes. <laughs> yes. We might have coyotes. I heard we, ha we do have coyotes. We, oh, cactuses. we do. We got coyotes around my area. Yeah, you see them once in a while. It's scary. Do you ever get, <laughs> do you ever get reprimanded by a judge for like trivial yes. things? Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh really? <laughs> well, like, like for bad grammar. Like, do you ever, like, if you say cactuses instead of cacti, would he say, um, I think it depends. What does on he call you? Council or or yeah, does he call you? Council, counselor. Council. Miss Jennings. Oh, we did. Miss oh. Jennings. Miss Jennings. I like that. Miss Jennings. 
<laughs> um, it depends on the judge, and it depends on the re- the rapport that the judge has with the attorney. But like when I was a baby prosecutor, because that's what we call them, you know, you're just starting off, and uh-huh, you're just, uh-huh. you know, your first couple weeks on the job. They, the judges reprimanded us all the time, but on little things. I mean, they're just, you know, make sure you do this or make sure you do that or they're teaching you because that's their job and especially in Miami-Dade where you're in a special division and they know that this is your first week on the job they're training you mm-hmm. and they're training you for the future so they're more like a teaching judge oh my so, god really and sometimes they would ask questions of the prosecutor that they would never ask an, you know anybody else just because they want you to know and they want you to learn the law okay and they want to know why well, that's they nice. want you to know why you're doing what you're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of it being in your training manual <laughs> Now, since since uh, Halloween is coming up and we'll have a lot of trick or treaters, if the trick or treaters like fall down on your property while they're trick or treating, are you liable to on for the medical they, bills or depends on what they fell down on? Because you know, little kids, that little boy in front of us just fell down like three seconds ago. Yeah, and he fell over his own two feet. So, uh huh. Um, if he fell down on my property, mm-hmm. no, because. He just fell over. Accidents happen. Now, if there was something that I had on my property, let's say I had pumpkin. A pumpkin. <laughs> well, pumpkin should be like <laughs> open and obvious enough <laughs> that, and it's orange. And if it's maybe it's not lit up, maybe it's really dark. Maybe that's the problem. But let's say there's like a hole, and they couldn't see the hole. I don't know why I dug a hole in my property all of a sudden. <laughs> um, but I can get potentially, uh, or be potentially held liable for that. Oh. If there's if there's something that I had like a decoration that I didn't hang up right and it fell on somebody's head, I potentially uh-huh. can get um, held liable for that. Really? Oh, okay. So what if I was sitting on the porch pretending I was a scarecrow and I'm not a real person? Okay. And then I stood up to scare the people who came onto the porch, and you've seen these videos. Mm-hmm. And then the guy on the porch punches me in the face because it's his natural reaction. Do I have? <laughs> do I have a case? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> do I have a case against him? I mean, what happened to you? Well, potentially yes, but what? Ha- are, is your nose broken? What are we co- recovering? But for? you never saw these videos where these guys are pretending to be scary, and then they yeah, and they get beaten. Boom! Yeah. yeah, you know, you you know, you get kicked out of a, a haunted house if you had but the. Headbutt the uh, the mummy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Why are we headbutting mummies? I don't understand. Robin Sun did that at Universal Horror. Oh, Nights. so we're talking from experience. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Larry had to say. And the I day. was the I was the counsel he, that he day. Talked to, I talked the guys I, out of not throwing. Them I off did. The I park. talked him into yeah. No. Well, they were sixteen. You know. Yeah. Scared but, TJ. Okay. So yeah. wasn't he was being? It wasn't that TJ was just being you know rude. Right. Or, right. Because they were touching the kids and everything the the actors were punching and things right and then tj had i'm not gonna them. say right to that i didn't see them punching the kids <laughs> well, no we're, i'm like i think that might have gone above and beyond um, <laughs> i don't remember that <laughs> what halloween horror nights is supposed <laughs> I to be i don't remember that <laughs> well we weren't in there they were in there by themselves so i don't know but larry saved the day good job larry somehow don't ask me how i did it it was, it was luck of the draw <laughs> do you have a lot of people uh, come to you before they're having a case with a whole list of items. I mean, everything is like in outline form, and they show it to you, and they say, "This is what's going on in my life, and this is how I want to fix it." And you and and you to solve this. Do do they bring you an outline form of things? Sometimes all written <laughs> this out. This is what I want. This is the end result of what I right. want. Oh, everyone always comes with the end result. Let's start with that. Uh-huh. Everyone has. An I end want result. a million dollars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, some people are very fastidious and they're very, they have everything together and it's outlined. Other people have absolutely no clue and they just show up. <laughs> they're just oh. like, what do we do? How do we do uh-huh. it? Walk me through it. That's why I, I am coming to see you because right. I don't even know where to begin. Mm-hmm. So it's just, there's different levels. I've had a gentleman write his own complaint and come to me and say, I want you to file this as I wrote it. Like, well, oh, I can't do that. But thank you. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> and I mean, some of it's you know because they did their. That only was just an Amy Schumer delivery, by the way. You just kind of gave a little like you. Do you watch Amy Schumer? I do not. Oh, okay. You just did a little comedy routine there. <laughs> I, well, you know, that's just, it's what it's like to live with me. <laughs> one comedy routine after the other. Um, so no, it's just one of those things where it just depends on the person. Some people are 
proactive with Google and other mm -hmm. people don't necessarily trust what they see on the internet. So I blame Google for everything. And so if, if, if that person wanted you to, to write it out exactly the way he had it, how come you couldn't do that? Oh, I could. I, I guess I should say I wouldn't. Uh -huh. like, well, in that particular case, it, there was law from California. There was law from oh. mostly California. Mm -hmm. And some from New York. None of that law applies in Florida when there's precedence in Florida. Mm -hmm. When Florida law is clear on what the state of the law is on that topic, mm -hmm. you have to use Florida law. Now, Florida law has never touched this issue then you can go and go to other jurisdictions and say, well, Florida's never actually talked about this uniquely enough, mm -hmm. but other jurisdictions have. Here's what they say. But it's not binding. They could only, oh. It's persuasive, uh -huh. which means it's used to persuade the judge one way mm -hmm. or another, mm -hmm. but it's not something a judge has to go by. So you don't ever really want that in your complaint. Oh, okay. And a lot of times you don't put, whatever you put in your complaint, when you're suing someone, you have to prove. So the more you put in it, the more you have to prove when you go to trial. So you try, one school of thought is you try to keep it as bare bones as humanly possible. Mm -hmm. You cover every element that you need to have. You make sure that there's a fact proving each element of the your count, which you're saying the person did wrong, but that's it. Because the more oh. you put in, the more, if you put in 75 facts, you're gonna now prove those 75 facts. Those 75 facts have to come out at trial. Mm -hmm. So you're just creating a world one for yourself. You we should go to, to uh, Congress and tell them how to write their bills because <laughs> they're all over the place. I mean, well, it's they just, have lawyers who do it, but you know, it's just they got all funny. different topics in one particular bill, and you have everything so concise. Right, but that's pork barreling. Oh. They do that on purpose. Oh. Yes, okay. they certainly do that on purpose. Okay. They like to hide stuff. Uh huh. Because hiding stuff is fun. Yeah, let me, uh, oh, we do have a phone call Gosh. coming in, then we'll morning, take our Brian. break. Um, good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Vanessa. Yes, uh, good morning. Thank you. Uh, if you are a single person and you have an apartment and you want to have a roommate to share your expenses, the uh, somebody comes and, and, and rents with you. Uh, Spends you know, it's, uh, half half the rent and, that, and everything else, and all of a sudden this person that had moved in loses his or her job, and all of a sudden kind of disappears for a while. Probably, uh, I, I think in this case, this fellow went to a, his, went to live with his girlfriend because he lost his job and didn't have any money. But anyways, uh, the person that uh, rented the room out to him is kind of stuck with a situation with uh, a person that has no job. And he's got some furnishing in there, and, and uh, he wants to reestablish another person coming in that's more vital. Uh, can, can you legally move his furniture out and stuff, or how would you handle that? I do believe you would have to evict him. Oh. And how does that work, the eviction? You file an eviction. With the court before you can move all this mm -hmm. stuff out? But if he lived there for more than 30 days, that is his domicile, that's his house, even if he's not necessarily... Like he, you could have a house and that's where you live and you're renting and you don't have to stay there. Mm -hmm. You can stay with your girlfriend or your mom or whomever. Mm -hmm. um, but so but that's technically still, I mean, if he has belongings there, he's te technically still there. So the 100% legal way to do it is to file an eviction with the court. And, you know, if he hasn't paid rent in a month, you have to give them notice. So before you file the eviction, you have to file all the proper paperwork. So there's just steps. You have to give them a certain amount of day notice. It has to be, post, you could post it. Then once that no, notice is done that they ha and they haven't paid you, then you could file an eviction. They're given five days after they're served with the eviction to put money in the registry of the court. If they don't put money in the court registry, you could file for a def the person could file for a default, and then at that period of time, they're able to um, do a writ of possession and remove said property from the premises. Oh my. Would you need a lawyer to handle that, or can you do that on your own? As long as the um, agreement is written with a person to a person, you do not need a lawyer. But if the if one of the entities is a business, then well, if the entity who's suing is a business, um, like some people incorporate their houses or LLC their houses just for um, liability purposes, mm -hmm. then at that point in time, you would need a lawyer. 
But if it's just uh, if, if it's just an individual to an individual, you do not need a lawyer. If, if you don't need a lawyer, is there uh, a, a, a pretty good amount of money involved in, in filing these papers? I want to say it. Well, you can file for an affidavit of. Um, indigency with the clerk of the court depending on your income so there is a possibility to get all fees waived the other option is to um to there's a couple different eviction options and i think the cheapest one is 190 i think i'm not positive on that don't quote me because i don't I oh don't, my i don't know the numbers yeah okay well thank you very much all right. you're welcome thank you good question all right we, so, oh. i'm sorry we'll, we'll take a little break we'll be right back <laughs> weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Partly sunny, beautiful today, a high of 84 to 88 and clear tonight, lows 55 to 63. Not as warm with lower humidity tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine and a high of 76 to 79. Sunny and comfortable Sunday temperatures once again in the upper 70s. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th Street next to Armstrong Homes in beautiful Ocala. We offer the best prices and highest quality products for your company, team, school, or nonprofit. Whether looking for screen printed shirts, embroidered polos, or travel team uniforms, you'll be sure to find it at Legacy Team Sales. Come visit our new 27,000 square foot facility. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will assist you in every part of your custom purchase. LTS carries the hottest brands in the industry like Under Armour, Russell, Mizuno, Asics, Badger Sports, Gildan, Pacific, Ogeo, and many more. At LTS, screen printing embroidery is done in-house and we guarantee customer satisfaction. Stop by, give us a call, or check us out on the web at shoplts.com. Remember the name, LTS. There are only a few things in life that you can be certain will always be around. Death, taxes, the pursuit of happiness, and computers. As they continue to advance at an epic pace, the one absolute certainty about them is that they'll break. It's not an if, it's a when. And when it happens, bring it to the only company in Ocala that's certified in Apple and Microsoft. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. They even offer on-site computer repair service, so they come to you. And if you do drop it off, you can check your repair status online. Ocala Mac and PC Repair is a family-owned and operated company that can do everything from mobile repair to wireless networks, fixing viruses, data recovery, even building and installing new systems. Visit online at OcalaMacPC.com. In person, 1713 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Or give them a call, 352-566-8324. That's 352-566-8324. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. Next Generation MD is the future of healthcare now. Listen in the first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. to learn how the future in PRP treatments are here in our area. Find out the many ways that Dr. Juan Jordan, MD, Charles Brooks, NP, and case manager Mark Shaw have brought the family medicine practice to a new level. Hear from the very people that benefit from the fine work they have done in this field. Next Generation MD, every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m. here on WOCA 96.3 FM, 1370 a.m., The Source. Right, six minutes before 11 o'clock. Vanessa is here to talk to you about the law. And if you have a question, please call in 622-9622. Call now because we've got five minutes. And sometimes, as in the example of the last caller, it takes, you know, it's not a one-word answer most of the time. Translation, I'm very verbose. <laughs> well, no, that's just the nature of your business. I think in law, you have to be, right? That's why law books, are, law libraries have so much in them, right? Yes. Whenever uh, lawyers <laughs> p pose for photographs, there's always this big library behind them. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've, I would tell you it a little makes something. makes you look smarter if you have books behind you. I have no idea. It does, I know. <laughs> None of my pictures have books behind <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Robin's son and my son both do computer coding. And I, when I was in New York with my son, I said to him, you know, I don't really know what you do. And so we had this conversation about what he does. Okay. I'm going to get to what this has to do with the law. <laughs> so what, he's, what, he, connection, what yeah. he said was... He told me what they did. He said a new a new coder or whatever you call that what he does mm -hmm. will write lots of code, and and an experienced code will, coder will be able to do it with a lot less, fewer words or fewer codes. He said so. That we have a joke among us. We say if they're new, they get paid by the codes they write. 
and if they're experienced they get paid by the codes they delete Mm -hmm. and and so there was in other words there was a way for somebody in his profession Mm -hmm. to recognize the newbies from the experienced ones absolutely so that's what i want to ask what is the telltale sign of a new attorney especially a new prosecuting attorney or maybe in any case and how would we the public know like how would we know and would we benefit from knowing like should i go to somebody who's got more years of experience or should i go to somebody who's brand new or does it matter um you should always go with someone who has some experience what it's so it's a hard question because Theoretically, we all start off because we went to law school and we're theoretically supposed to know the law. Yeah. Um, my theory on it is the law school actually doesn't teach you the law. <clears throat> it teaches you how to think. It teaches you how to think legally, to be to take legal theory and apply it to a certain set of facts and circumstances. Okay, right. Because you're not, ne- well, I don't say you're never, very rarely are you going to find a case that has 100% your your facts. Like it is the mirror image of your case. There's always going to be something that's different and you're going to always have to argue that that difference doesn't matter or that difference does matter depending on which way you want that case, if that case hurts you or helps you, if you want to use it or if you don't want to use it. So that's what law school does. Learning a particular area of law just takes time and you have to immerse yourself in it. So the more experience a person has or the more years a person has in that field theoretically the more they know but that's not necessarily true because it doesn't mean that they didn't go and take additional classes and continuing education and they're right. keeping up with the the law because the law changes every single year you know they tweak this or they tweak that everything just changes so if things are changed you just want to make sure that whoever you have is one has experience in that area that they keep up with the changes in the law and the way you can normally tell that is you could you ask them questions or you can go to their florida bar page and on the bar page it tells you oh it tells you all that it tells you when they graduate it tells you what sections they're in um like for me it's i'm in three sections i am in the business law section i am in the criminal section and i'm in the family section so each one of those sections for the florida bar they send me newsletters so if there's a new case that changes things they update you they say you know hey you might want to go read this case Mm -hmm. because this changed or Uh, it might it might change one of your cases or how you look at it or they'll just send they'll send different updates and they keep you abreast of all the topics and so do we benefit because a new attorney is probably going to be with a firm that has some elder attorneys there like do i benefit if i go to a guy and i'm his very first case am i okay because he's got a partner that's been doing it for 20 years well like when we were prosecutors there's everyone had their very first case yeah now Unfortunately, I, got, I don't want to say unfortunately. My very first case, I would, hadn't even graduated law school yet. I was oh. still in law school and I had my very first case. But I had someone, because wow. I was a CLI, which is a certified legal intern. But I had a prosecutor over me who made sure but, that I did what I was supposed to do. Uh-huh. They also had only been a prosecutor for probably about six months. But, you know, uh-huh. so they were, they were baby prosecutors themselves. But it was one of those things where there's always somebody above you, like when you're a prosecutor Just or a public defender. There's there. always someone above you to make sure what you're doing is correct because it's a learning process, and that's why you take those jobs is to learn. Now, when you go, if it's a firm, there's normally tons of people above you in a firm who are able to help the new attorneys and oversee goes too fast goes too fast um all right so the best thing we can advise for the listeners who didn't call in and want to have their questions answered is to go to see you absolutely and how do they do that what's your number my this my phone number is 352-804-0092 our address is 2945 northeast third street across from the municipal golf course and in addition to the jennings law firm is the dui and ticket center G- DUI and Ticket Center. In Florida. All right. We will be right back. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The dinner to raise money.